Hi everyone, my name is Vineet. So in the last session of file system series, we have developed the basic program of file system operation that is uh, creating a new file, uh, writing a data into file and reading data from file. So uh, in this session, we will be developing Java program uh, of copying data from one file to another file. So let's create one new pa package for session two. And also let's create one new class with name copy data. So the logic of copy data from one file to another file will be writing inside this class. So let's get started with program. Public static void and method name will be copy so we'll be passing here uh, two parameter of string type one is uh, source path and another is our target path So let's uh, write, let's read that file using scanner class. New scanner. So let's pass input here. Uh, new file. and source path so now this scanner is uh, throwing input output sorry this new file is throwing input output uh, exception sorry file not found exception so let's wrap that uh, scanner and new file inside try and catch block and now let's check whether scanner has a new line or not so this next line will return has next line will return true and false so if sca scanner is reading from source file uh, and uh, it found a new line so in that case it will return true so so we will be we will be writing that file uh, that uh, new line into target path so let's write here uh, file writer new file writer new file and target path this is throwing uh, input output exception so instead of catching uh, two different exception we can catch genic uh, catch genic exception here so once we have new line so we'll be writing that new line into uh, target file uh, sorry target file using a file writer right and we have to pass here scanner dot next line and once we have done with the writing data into uh, target path sorry target file so um, at last we will be closing our writer and we will be closing our scanner as well so let's write main method
so let's call this copy uh, method copy data dot copy method so we have to pass it here uh, the source and target path so let's use from constant dot source uh, sample file name let's create one another file saying string of target file name target and target dot txt so we have to app append here uh, a resource as well because we are storing <coughs> we are storing all the files into uh, this resource folder so resource dot concat target now we can use <coughs> sorry so we can use this file uh, name target now let's uh, run this program and verify you can see first uh, there is no any uh, file inside this resource folder with the name uh, target file so uh, inside this file let's run this program first and we'll verify whether new file is created or not so let's run this we forgot to uh, give the message here So target file is created so you can see here we have data but I guess this data is little bit different so here we have three lines and in target we have one line only so uh, let's copy so we should copy whatever data we have whatever format uh, data we have in source file so the same format we should have in target file so let's do that so first i just want to delete this file so that if if you don't want to delete uh, you can you sh you cannot i mean if you if you uh, want delete this file so let's not do that because when you re rerun your file it will create uh, it will override the data in same file so we have to use a separator line separator writer dot write and system dot uh, get property here we have to pass what property we want to use line dot Uh, S E P A R A T O R separator. So this line uh, separator property will separate the data from uh, one line to new line. So it depend upon our uh, source file how the format is. The same format it will create in uh, target file. So let's rerun this file and refresh yeah you can see source and uh, source and target file data is same we have the same format and one more thing that i want to do here i just want to pass it here one message
but if we found any exception in this uh, program so we have to pass error message and error occurred with message e dot get message so this get message will give us the uh, message sorry error message <coughs> if our program is throwing null pointer exception so this will give us the message as null and if file not found is there if this uh, uh, this line is throwing file not, file not found exception so this get message will give us file not found exception message and let's delete this target again or oh, let's not delete let's rerun this so whatever data we have it will override the data but we are expecting it to uh, append the new data with previous data so data copied successfully if we open this file you can see the same data we have even we ran uh, this program twice time so this should be a different in target we should have the same data twice time so if you want to perform that operation so while writing you can pass here appender as true now let's run this program again and verify whether it's working fine or not let's refresh this project and target so you can see this is the first uh, sentence or paragraph and this one is another one so if we run the same program uh, thrice time so you will have same uh, line of data thrice time see so this is the small logic for the copying data from one file to another file even we have more more other another option we can use a uh, uh, file input stream and file output stream buffer reader buffer writer we can use those as well so in up upcoming next videos we will be uh, performing uh, file operations using another uh, options so we have done with this video guys and uh, stay tuned for another videos thank you so much